Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Running Prize Harry Potter Christmas Celebration gift set. So without further ado, let's get started. This whole set costs around 43 bucks. Um, it looks pretty uh, cool online, so I decided to give it a try. Let's see what's going on here. And here we have the magical box. It's very colorful, very beautiful, very Christmas vibe here. We have all the uh, Hogwarts crust and also the uh the, sc the school or the house crust uh very nice all right and then the back as usual we have everything that's included with this we have a scratch book we have a Wis weasley christmas weather inspired journal we have a warm pen ronald weasley's warm pen a ceramic picture frame and five gift cards with envelope all right and let's open it Ooh, upon opening, wow, this thing is really nice. It's it's got a cardboard box, but it's made with like really good and heavy material, so that feels really good in hand. It's not cheap at all. All right, and here we have first it's like a photo photo book or hope photo album inspired. This is inspired by a uh, Hogwarts photo album um, that was shown in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone. However, this is not. A movie prop replica it is actually a like photo frame um, I'm not sure if that's the correct word for it basically you put your own photo in it there is no like real Harry Potter photos but first look at look at it from the outside it is made of paper um, however it feels like fake leather but uh, it is made of um, cardboard like very soft paper material but uh, it feels really, really nice in hand. Um, yeah, up here we have Hogwarts crust here. Not be much going on, but definitely feels like leather. Uh, like there's a texture of le leather, but of course it doesn't smell like leather. And once you open it, well, very nice. Here's a uh, Hogwarts house crust. And here we have the album is modeled after one, the one Ruby is Hagrid gift to Harry Potter and the Silver Stone. Use this space to record stories and memories alongside photos of holidays past from awkward family photos to favorite decorations, gifts, food, and more. Very nice. Yeah, I would just, I'm just gonna scan through the pages because most of these pages are blank. It's like yearbook, you know, you're supposed to attach a photo to it and maybe write something, good memories about it. Um, it's different than how I thought. I did not really read the description before I bought it, but I don't regret it anyway. I feel it's still a really nice Christmas gift to give someone who is a Harry Potter fan. Um, and also for yourself, if you are a Harry Potter fan, I think um, Christmas is, on, uh, is around the corner. Um, it's good to prepare these things right now before they sell out by the time, you know? Uh, yeah, it's just all the crust, all these pages. Um, it'll, it would have been nice if they have like actual photos looks just like the one from Hawk, uh, from Hagrid's book. But uh, still, I think it's a very good concept. Instead of putting Harry Potter's memory in it, you can put your own memories in it. Um, but yeah, going through the pages, it's just like this. So very nice, this is cool. Uh, move that to the side, let's, let's move it here. Next, what's this? It's a red velvet uh, from the films of Harry Potter. Christmas Memories Journal. Okay, we have Harry Potter the Wizarding World logo here. When you open it, again, very nice Christmas vibe here. It's all like, they all have the same vibe here. Let's just skip through the pages here. It's just a, it's just a journal. Um, and then running press, of course. And then your picture here, the book belongs to. I'm just gonna skip the page. Happy Christmas, Potter. Happy to have you with us. Molly Weasley. I guess there are there's gonna be some quotes, favorite lines along the pages, and some photos as well. This is definitely from um if I remember correctly. Maybe this I don't know. I actually can't tell. I feel like this might be either Chamber of Secrets or Half Blood Prince. Who knows? Let's keep going. Okay, this is a U bowl. Introduction. Um, let's just read the first line here. Cherish the most beloved holiday memories of the Harry Potter film series and your own with this Harry Potter Christmas Memories Journal from the centuries-old Yubel to the annual Weasley's family sweaters. sweaters, sweaters. Um, the entire Whistling world is bursting with holiday magic. 
Okay, uh, the rest you guys can read up if you guys feel like it. Cool, keep going. Part one, holiday magic. Pretty excited, what is this? Happy Christmas holiday from Ronald Weasley. This feels like from the first movie. And this is definitely Yuval from the fourth movie. The Yuval, uh, I'm just gonna read a little bit here. Um, this is the season for eating, drinking, and awkward dancing. Perhaps no event at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry better showcases the merriment of Christmas than the U Ball. As seen in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the centuries old tradition celebrates the champions of Triwizard Tournament. And for the rest, you guys can read it if you guys feel like it. Awesome, and definitely a very interesting scene here from the Yubel, from the Goblet of Fire movie, of course. Um, yeah, Ron is not having fun, definitely. Um, yep, cool. Oh yeah, okay, here is what are some of your all-time favorite holiday parties or celebration? Describe what made them so magical. Okay, they actually gave you some theme and ideas to write about. And the rest is just blank pages. Let's just skip through. Okay, list and describe your best holiday outfits, including festive, formal wear, Christmas sweaters, uh, sweaters, and even fairly formal robes. Okay, list now. List and describe your worst holiday outfits of all time. I know what's gonna be for Ron for sure. Okay, next slug club Christmas party. Interesting. Uh, in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, Harry and friends attend. The Slug Club, Slug Club Christmas Party, the annual event hosted by Potion Master uh, Horace Slughorn, um, is an opportunity for the best and the brightest of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft Wizardry to mix and mingle. And then the rest, you guys can read it through if you guys feel like it. This is a very interesting scene too. I remember this scene very well from the Half Blood Prince, um, Luna and Harry. Um, Luna was invited by Harry to the Slug Club Christmas party. Very cool. It's beautiful too. That whole combination of lanterns and Luna's dress. Okay, next we have describe your most awkward holiday moments. Either something that happened to you or something you witnessed. Hmm, interesting. I have a few in mind already. In a space below, write a guest list for your dream holiday bash. Ooh, include family and friends or people you've never even met, fictional or real, then design the invitation. For me, I'll, I'll invite all the cast from Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts. Never left out Fantastic Beasts. I love Fantastic Beasts. I don't care what people say. It's, it's a great, f I love those films. Okay, <clears throat> this is probably full of Nargos though. Harry Potter and the Water of Phoenix. This is coming from Joe Chain under the mist, mistletoe. Okay. Um, Christmas traditions ain't, aren't exclusive to muggles. Many are enjoyed by witches and wizards as well throughout the wizarding world. Kissing under a sprig of mistletoe. Mis, mistletoe. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Mr. Toll is a Christmas time tradition, even if the plants are reportedly infested with Nargos. Ooh, this reminded me of um, the Order of the Phoenix. You guys can read through the rest. And here's the uh, kissing scene. Cool. Okay, write about your own holiday first. Uh, what is the first Christmas gift you remember getting or giving? What did your first Christmas ornament look like? What is the first Christmas party you attended or hosted? I don't remember at all. This is a tough one. Um, okay, a few blank pages. Lights. Mr. Toll. Miss. Miss. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Mist. Toll. Miss Toll. Miss Little. Ting Soul. <laughs> Describe your favorite Christmas time. Decorations also use the space to dry uh, to draw them or sketch your own ideas for decorations. Okay, a few more pages. Deck the Great Wall. Oh, uh, the Deck the Great Hall. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Gamekeeper Rubius Hagrid is tasked 
with the yearly Yuletide duty of chopping down the Christmas tree and hauling it into Hogwarts Grey Hall. Yep, I remember that scene from um, the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Stone during the Christmas time. You guys can read through the rest. And here is, again, from Yubo. Very nice decorations. Don't we all wish we have school Yubo? Something like this, like in our school wall. Usually there are a lot less format, uh, like for, formal um, than the British version for sure. And this, I think this is coming from the third movie, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Happy Christmas again from Hermione Granger. Next, the most memorable time of year. Okay, not every holiday season goes exactly as planned. Even Harry Potter and other students at Hogwarts had their holidays ruined by you know who. Not to mean, uh, not to mention the time Death Eaters um, attacked the Weasley family home on Christmas Day. Yep, dark. And you guys can read through the rest. And here is from the six. Um, no, wait, hold on. This is from the seventh film. Um, at the scene Godric's Hollow when um. Harry and Hermione visited, um, yeah, um, his family's tomb, his parents' tomb. Yep, cool. Right about Christmas moments that didn't go as planned. Did you burn Christmas dinner? Did a snowstorm cancel your travels? I feel like there might be once in my life when I was in Alaska. Um, there was a heavy snowstorm um, during Christmas time, which there's nothing we can do than staying indoor because everything was closed anyways describes how the christmas spirit still appeared in these not so joyful moments um we had a reindeer burger i remember during that time um we also celebrated with a couple of strangers because we stayed at a uh road trip house what wasn't those house called i don't remember from now but it's like a row row house yeah it's called row house um and then the the staffs working at a row house. I hope that's what's what's called row house, but um, it was really friendly. Um, they also offered some really exclusive Alaskan style dinner. Um, at that time, I'm not very into like wild animals, like eating wild animals, like like elk or reindeers or you know like that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm coming from California, but um, <laughs> yep. Usually we only have beef, chicken, <laughs> duck, maybe, um, pork, that, that kind of stuff. But they have like reindeers, elk, bisons, um, stuff like that. At that time, it was very unique and different. Um, but it's very enjoyable too. Although we didn't get to celebrate the one, the way we originally planned it. However, it was a very unique experience. Everyone stuck in the house, in, in, in the living room or, or living, um, you, you know, in that little space with a pack of strangers <laughs> who also stayed in that uh, row house. And we celebrated with each other and we celebrated with um, the staffs working over there. And everyone was so friendly, so nice. They also offer us um, uh, free drinks like the Alaskan Amber, um, which is pretty cool. It was my first time trying their bear, beer and it was really good too. Yeah, good memories. Anyways, rocking around the Hogwarts, Christmas and music go hand in hand, even at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The Great Hall is often filled with magical melodies of carolers, student arc orchestras, and even a rock and roll band, the Weird Sisters at a U Ball. And then the rest, you guys can read it through. And here is the magical moment, not the magical moment, the very lovely moment between Victor Chrome and Hermione Granger at the UBO and Goblet of Fire. Here's a few quotes, I think. Um, yeah, you guys can read it through. It's like a, it's like a song, I think. Okay, next, write about your favorite Christmas songs of all time. Calling out any significant lyrics and the reason the songs are so memorable. For me, there's a lot. I, I love Jingle Bell because every year we do hear Jingle Bell. I love Silent Night. I just feel that song is very holy. I mean, it, it, the, the melody sounds like a little down, right? But but it feels really holy and um, it's just very unique. I like to hear that, like, especially towards the end of the Christmas. Like, I just feel it's like, it's like a Finnish thingy. And also, um, probably doing my, maybe, 
middle school years or maybe uh, um, junior high years. I don't know how you guys call it. Um, um, there was Last Christmas. I think at that time, that song was really hit. I mean, that song has been there for a while, but I remember that time, like my school, at least my friends at the time, everyone was listening to uh, Last Christmas because, you know, there is those those lyrics to reflect the reality to some people. And I feel that influenced me a lot to during that time. So that's something I remember very well. Anyways, well, there's a lot of songs that you can write. Next to holiday gifts. Uh, gift giving and getting are a magical part of every holiday season in a muggle world and whistling world alike. Check out a few of Harry Potter's greatest gifts and write them right and then write about some of your own okay invisibility cloak i would love to have one of these ironically one of harry's greatest gifts is something that most will never see the invisibility cloak open in harry potter and sorcerer stone under the eager eyes of ron weasley this gift was accompanied by an anonymous note it reads your father left this in my possession before he died it is time it was returned to you. Use it well. And you guys can read it through the rest. And here, of course, when Harry received his Christmas gift, maybe the first ever Christmas gift in his life um, in, uh, on a Christmas morning at Hogwarts at the Gryffindor Common Room in the first movie. Cool. List and describe the best and worst Christmas gifts you've never re you've ever received. Oh, there's a lot I can't really even describe here. Uh, list and describe the best and worst Christmas gift you've ever given. Ever given. I don't think I've ever given something bad. Okay. Um, if from the receiver point of view, it might be bad. I remember really well during my high school year, my school had a mandatory. Thing going on during Christmas in one of my class, one of my literature classes, it's like everyone need to uh, give a gift to one of your classmates um, by randomly selecting from those you know name papers, and then I selected one of the I pick I, I got one of the one of the classmates uh, uh, in, in in the class, and then I it was my first time baked Christmas cookies. It was my first time in my life and my last time as well. I've never baked another Christmas cookie in my life after that. And I thought that was one of the greatest thing, you know, it's my first time cooking a <laughs> Christmas cookie. And then I think I, I overcooked it. And and when my friend at the time, and or like that classmate who, who got my gift, he was very happy. Like, oh, I can eat it right now. And then, yeah, it almost got his teeth off <laughs> because it was so hard. He couldn't even bite it in. You know, I think for me, that was a great gift. But for him, this is probably the worst gift he've ever received because he, he never thought... It would have been that hard, like a rock. And I almost destroyed his teeth. I remember very well. Anyways, I've got presents from Harry. And this is a very icon iconic scene as well. Um, Hagrid. Still feel very sorry about Hagrid. Rest in peace, you know. I still feel very sad. Nimbus 2000 and Fireball. Yup, those are amazing gifts Harry received in his years at Hogwarts. We all have... Uh, perennial christmas gifts items we receive year in and year out like socks pajamas or a new ornament for harry and other witches and wizards a common gift is often a brand new broomstick okay you guys can read through the rest and here is when he opening i believe this is fireball um from the third movie prisoner of azkaban at the, at the end okay create a list of christmas gifts that you receive nearly every year um, definitely Christmas socks <laughs> every year for me. I receive those every single year. And of course, Christmas cards, I consider those are gifts as well. Um, the past five years, I have received Christmas tree ornaments from friends, coworkers, and family as well. So those are the things I receive every year. Okay, next. Oh, my mom made it wrong, obviously. Here, they're wearing the lovely sweater from... Molly. Weasley sweaters. If handmade Christmas gifts come from the heart, Molly Weasley must have the biggest heart of all. Cool. You guys can read it off. This is Harry wearing the H shirt. Okay. The Marauders map. In Harry Potter and a personal of Azkaban, Fred and George Weasley give Harry Potter the Marauders map. 
a magical guide to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Okay, you guys can read through the rest. Marauder's Map. I have a replica from Novel Collection, which I think is pretty cool, pretty awesome. But yeah, I can't imagine if I ever have a real one. It would have been cool, but I have to be in Hogwarts for it to be useful, right? If, I, if I'm not in Hogwarts, this thing just doesn't really, doesn't work at all. <laughs> Anyways, describe your most desired gift as a child that you never received. Did you want a real life unicorn, a new car? Write about why you never got these gifts and what's stopping you from getting them now. I remember when I was little, the, the gifts that I wanted the most is definitely a dog or a pet, but most, uh, but mainly a dog. I really, I, I'm really a dog person. I really wanted to have a dog, but yeah, as a child, it wasn't allowed, but uh, I do have a dog now, but um, yeah, that would be a gift that I always dream of as a kid. Anyways, it shows us what we want, whatever we want. Harry Potter, the mirror of Erised. Cool. The Mirror of Era said, Some of the greatest Christmas surprises don't come with a lot of fanfare. In Harry Potter and a Sorcerer's Stone, Harry located the Mirror of Era said on Christmas Day. You guys can read through the rest, and here is the mirror. All right, next, write about your most wonderful Christmas surprises. Did an ex unexpected guest show up at a holiday party? Did you receive a surprise gift from a secret admirer? Maybe you even got engaged or married on Christmas. Describe some of these magical moments. I'll like to keep it private, but I do have these moments. A few. Um, Fantastic Beast. Okay. Once again, I do love this franchise. I don't care what other people say. I think this franchise is great. As it is. A Christmas toast to Mr. Harry Potter, without whom I would not be here. Author Weasley. And here's a great hall. Don't we all dream as a little kid we would have something like this in our own school? We never do. We do have a uh, cafeteria or canteens, depending on where you, you're from. Um, those things, that's what it's called. Uh, some some places call it cafeteria. Some places call it canteen or uh, dining, dining facilities. Um, um, but yeah, we don't have something like this looking. I think only maybe Europe have something like this. Anyways, imagine standing in a great hall before the annual Christmas fest. You've been asked to give the ceremonial toast. What would you say? Oh my god. Ceremonial toast. Um, this is a tough one. It would be short. Cheers. Have fun. <laughs> okay, next. As some Hogwarts students had home for the holidays, those who stay behind are in for a treat, or rather, the annual Christmas feast. Check out a few of Wizarding World's most fantastic holiday eats, and then write about some of your own. Butterbeer. I love butterbeer. I had them at uh, Universal Studios. They were amazing. Both the cold, hot, or the frozen, I've tried them all. Um, I have to say, in a summer day, definitely go with the frozen. If you've never been to Whistling World, I've never tried Butterbeer. This is my suggestion. Doing a hot summer day, definitely go to the frozen. This is the only thing that can cure you. Uh, on a normal day, you know, not too hot, not too cold. Of course, a normal Butterbeer, the normal cold version is good enough. That's probably the most authentic one. Um, and then, in a cold day, try the hot one. Anyways, this butterscotch-like beverage will have any witch or wizard in a jolly good mood during the holidays or any time of year for that matter. Write about all of your favorite holiday beverages from eggnog to apple cider. Describe why you like them and how they became a holiday tradition. Um, I don't have a holiday beverage to be honest with you. I drink whatever I want throughout the year. Not just specific for the holiday, to be honest with you. But maybe during holiday time, I drink more juice. Um, if that makes sense. Like more like apple juice or orange juice, if that makes sense. Like normally, I would go for soda over, you know, juice. But during holiday times, I just feel like for some reasons, um, I do drink a lot more juices. Cool. Christmas cake for the Weasleys and their guests. Um, Christmas cake is an annual tradition. As seen in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, this fruit cake is a staple 
at the Weasley's house, complete with a penguin cake topper who magically ice skates on the sugary sweet icing. Merry Christmas to all. Cool, I remember this scene. Next, Dragon Tartar. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, some holiday foods are more traditional than delectable. Delectable? Delectable? Uh, including Dragon Tartars, served at a slug party, Christmas party in Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince. Those hot. How do you pronounce that? I have no idea. Anyways, made from minced dragon meat. Ooh, give the consumer horribly bad breath. Ooh, it's fairly unwanted side effect unless, like Hermione, you're trying to keep your bad day <laughs> at bay. Anyway, it's interesting. Wow, it's it's made with minced dragon meat. I didn't even know that. I know there was a dragon tartar. I thought it was like dragon spit. You know, like bird's nest coming from the swallow's uh, uh, spit. I thought dragon tartar, I didn't imagine. It, it was something like like a beef tartar. <laughs> yeah, now that makes sense because there is a beef tartar. Um, there is horse tartar. I, I just didn't thought dragon tartar meant that, but it was my mistake. Well, this is my first time discovering this, to be honest with you. It's quite disgusting. Um, yeah, I, I always thought it was, like, made out of dragon spit or something, like... Because, <laughs> you know, it says give you bad mouth, right? I thought it's it's coming from dragon's mouth um, and made some desserts. I didn't know it was minced dragon meat. <laughs> okay, describe some of your least favorite holiday eats and treats. Why don't you like them? Why are they still a holiday tradition for your family? I don't have any. Um, if I don't like something, just don't eat it. No one forced me to eat anything I don't want. Open up, you, don't you trust me, Jeannie Weasley. Here is from, I think, hot half blood print. Okay, mince pies. In Harry Potter and half blood print, mince pies make for an oh-so-sweet moment when Ginny Weasley feds uh, one of these palm-sized pies to Harry. Cool, let's read it all. And here's that special moment between Harry and Ginny. I think it's that moment, the love sparkles. Maybe before that, but um, yeah. Record some of your favorite holiday receipts for future seasons. I don't really cook um, holiday meals, so I'd have no idea. Um, cool, the rest, the rest is all these recipe stuff. Cool, until the end, we finished this book. Very interesting. Next. What is this? Okay, it's like Christmas cards. Here is the Christmas envelopes. It's in this really interesting yellow. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's it's yellow envelopes. Okay, and we have five Christmas cards. And here we have the Christmas scene. I think this is from the first movie during the holiday season. And when we open it, it's blank. The back just have the Harry Potter logo here. Next, we have the trio, Hermione, Oh, this is an interesting one. I will not give this one out to anyone. I'll keep this one. Um, the trio. This is during uh, the third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban. I think it's in the Forbidden Forest, if I remember correctly. If not, some of the forest is near Hogsmeade. Okay, next, it's a Christmas cake from the Weasley family with the dancing penguin. And then I think they're all the same. There's nothing inside. The back is the same. And here is... Professor Flick uh, performing at the U Ball. And next, oh, this one. This one we have Luna and Harry. Very, very nice. Um, cool. Yep. These are the five uh, cards. Cool. Next, we have, we have, okay, the photo frame. Um, I think this is made of, I can't tell if it's plastic or ceramic. I think it's ceramic, but very nice design here. And here's the back. This is made out of cardboard, and you can just take it out and then put whatever photo you 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 want. It is a small one though. You gotta have a very small photo. This is a, this is not like a normal size photo frame. It's a smaller size, but cool. All right. Next we have. There's nothing more left here. We have the wand pen. This is uh, Ronald Weasley's wand, and this is the pen. 
like so. You can buy stuff with it. Pretty cool. I have a couple of these one pens actually. I don't remember where I got them from. I think it's from different uh, sets from Running Price, but um, still pretty cool. All right, and here is everything that we opened from this magical boss box. How do you guys think? Uh, is it worth the forty-four dollar price tag? Um, is it something worth collecting? Is it something that you want? Feel free to let me know. I think it's pretty cool. I think the most, the best, th the best thing is this one. It feels like a film, uh, like a film replica or a film prop, um, and it's really made with these very cool feeling, like, yeah, just made with really good feeling materials. I mean, it is paper, it is cardboard, but it just feels like leather. It's really cool. And a journal, there's a lot of things to dive in in this journal as well. I think it's pretty cool. You know, I am I'm happy with this. I feel like any Harry Potter fans will be happy receiving these as a gift for their Christmas. Anyways, so here is my review of the Running Price Harry Potter Christmas Celebrations gift set. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.